Hello everyone, and in this video, I wanted to go over this tool that I found called Chimera. Now, uh, this is a PowerShell obfuscator script that's designed to bypass antivirus by using techniques such as string substitutions and variable concatenation. Um, so I'm going to be demonstrating this in this video by using a simple reverse shell script uh, that you can find on something like reverse shell generator. And they have a section here for PowerShell scripts. And specifically, we'll just be using the second version. Another tool I'll be using is this reverse shell generator called hoax shell. And the output or the payload that it creates, we'll be putting that into Chimera to obfuscate it even more. Um, I'll be demonstrating what the detection rates are before and after, so you get a sense of what, um, if you can run it with antivirus still enabled or not, or if it will get detected, basically. All right, so let's get started by first downloading this on our Kali machine. We can do that by just copying and pasting this section right here. I already did that. And I'm left with a folder like this, which has my Chimera executable. Uh, we can test this out by running the dash H for help and see what kind of arguments we can put into this. I already have a write-up for what arguments I use, and you can also find that in their usage guide. And it explains what each of these are in more depth. So the reverse shell we'll be using is from this website here, like I mentioned, and we can do that by first specifying the IP address and port we want to use, and also um, the listener that we want set up. In this case, I'm just going to be using netcat and 8080. This is our payload here. And what we'll do first just to test everything out is save this to a PowerShell file. I think I'm missing a P there. Oops. Put this on our desktop. We'll just call it test ps one And right away, we can see on the bottom right, Windows detected it, flagged it from being malicious. Uh, temporarily, we'll just disable this for now, and then we'll turn it on after when we try to run Chimera itself. Mainly because I want to try and upload this to virus total. All right, so we got 22 detections just off of that script, and it also disappeared. Uh, so let me see if I can save this again here now. There we go. All right, so what we'll have to do is get this onto our Kali machine so we can use Chimera. Uh, simply what we can do here is let's go into the shells folder and then or just paste the payload straight into here. We'll call this PowerShell PowerShell. PS1. And just paste this into there. There we go. Exit out of that. So if you cut that out. 
get our script. All right, so let's go back into the folder before this and then start to use Chimera on this file. Chimera. Uh, so let me go over the arguments we'll be using. Dash F to specify the file. This is in our shells folder and it was pw.virtshell. This one. And then also the dash L argument is for the level. Uh, in this case, we'll just be using level three, but it can go up to four for how much you want to obfuscate it. After that, I like to use the dash A argument for all or most of the techniques used. And then lastly, the output of the payload. I'll just stick it into our temp folder and do PowerShell obfuscated. Let me go over the. Here we go. I think maybe it's the. Uh, let me just fix this part right here. It's dot. There we go. All because I didn't have the period right in front of it. All right, so that is the payload already there, but I already outputted it to this folder. And here's the simplest way I know how to get onto my virtual machine. CD into the temp folder. And there it is. And then from there, I'm just gonna run a simple Python. Server on port 80. and download the payload from here directly. See what this file looks like now. And it's all this bunch of mess right here. We'll throw that into fires total now and see what it looks like. One detection so far, two. Okay, so two, so not perfect, uh, but I'm pretty sure if I enable antivirus now, and try to run it, I'll be able to be, I'll be able to get a reverse shell. So that's antivirus turned on. And let's try to run it. Make sure netcat is listening first. We don't need this Python HTTP server anymore. Uh, let's now run the netcat listen. All I did was just put it on port 8080. We'll do ncat l vnp listening. And let's just run this. Hmm. Did not work. Why? Let's try to run it from here then. Oh, I see. It says it's not digitally signed. Uh, you cannot run scripts on this system. 
Uh, so we'll have to try to get past this somehow by changing the executable policies. Or I think another way we can do past it is checking this unblock. Let's try one more time. Hmm. Nope, looks like we'll still need to allow the scripts to run on the system. So what we're going to need to do is run this set execution policy uh, to bypass. And then let's try to run this one more time. Oh no, we get that, that the script is malicious. That's not good. So that's the downside of this. These uh, reverse shells that you get right off the internet. Even though you try to mask it or hide it using Chimera, it can get detected. Um, I'm not too sure why it's not running now, but last time I did this, it ran, um, even with antivirus still on. We can try a different payload or go more into this, but let's just skip right into the next uh, tool for creating our own payloads using Hoax Shell. Okay, so let's get Hoax Shell installed now on our Kelly machine. I already have it installed. And here's the Python executable. Uh, but if you wanted to install it, here is their GitHub. And it's just a simple git clone along with installing the requirements through pip. Okay, so let's run this now. what kind of arguments we can pass through it. What we'll need to do is specify the raw payload. So we can use that to put it into Chimera for us. We can also use something like ngrok. to capture the payload on a secure tunnel. We'll do ngrok and then we'll try d dash r the raw payload. Okay. And here it is. So let's put this into a file now so we can put this and run it through Chimera. That's in there now, so we can try to cat that out. That's what it looks like. All right, now let's try to run Chimera on this. So you see, I already tried doing this before, and the new file we created has the one at the end here. We'll be using level three and the same comments as the previous command. But I'll up the level on the highest one, level four, see if we can get exactly zero detections doing that or not. The output is the H obfuscated in the temp folder, and it didn't run. Let's see why. Oh, that's right. The uh, payload is in the show file.
Perfect. Let's go into that temp folder. Let's start up that Python server so we can get that onto our victim machine. Now, antivirus is still on. Refresh this. We'll see this is our obfuscated file here. So we did get a detection on antivirus here. But let's see if we can run it. Okay, and we got a callback. And let's try to list the stuff in the downloads folder. There we go. Try to run a command like calc. And there you go. Calculus calculator is opening up on the victim machine. Definitely got a reverse shell past antivirus. Even though it did get warned, uh, the file still ran. Okay, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one.